If you think our other videos are boring, this will allow the transition to click into place properly. You only want the teeth of the blade to stick past the material that you're cutting. On the Captain Saber Home Mini Series, the one about the bathroom, we had replaced the countertop. Due to the custom size of the vanity cabinet, we're going to cut the countertop to depth, which required us to remove the built-in backsplash. Since we removed the backsplash, the opportunity to choose a custom one was available. In the meantime, we completed the painting, flooring, and baseboards. Eventually, the decision was made to attempt to use the original backsplash. This is our story. So, what we want to do is we want to get rid of this lip here, and we're going to cut it off with the table saw. This is the part of the countertop that we ended up cutting off to get the custom depth, and they wanted to keep the backsplash matching wherever you cut any material that has a finish to it. Use masking tape, cover it in where it's going to be cut so it won't split or crack or peel while you're making the cut. And since this is a finished piece, this is the only piece we have, we have to be very careful. If you live in the Kern County, California area and would like to be a part see, of our live audience, nice feel free to go to our channel cut. and contact us by finish. email. No gouges or chips. We're gonna be cutting at the radius now. This is gonna get a little tricky. So, we need to be extremely careful because this next cut is what's going to meet up with the top of the countertop at the edge. Now, we are going to use silicone for the joints to help give it a cleaner look, but we definitely don't want the cut to move on us. And as a general PSA, do not, do not get your fingers too close to that blade or it will give you a bad day. So, now to the side sledges. These are considerably longer because they are supposed to fit around and over, but we need to cut these down to size to match up what we had to cut off for this one. Bring them to the miter saw for us to have a straight cut. Cut just right outside the line. And there we have it. Nice, pretty clean cut. We're getting ready to put the backsplash in and we may run into an issue so we're gonna have to pull the sink forward to take care of that so which means we're gonna have to take the sink out to cut the opening for it a little bit bigger towards the front and that will give us what we need and we're going to do this without damaging what we already have in the reason we initially cut the opening for the sink farther back was to allow adequate space between the sink and the recessed face of the cabinet containing the doors at the time there was a strong consideration for a tile backsplash. Since then, however, it had been decided that the original backsplash would be used, which now requires more space between the wall and the back of the sink. Now it's time that we're going to put the backsplash in. But we're doing it in glue? That almost doesn't seem right. Well, Bubba, it's not just regular glue. It's construction adhesive designed specifically for adhering to the wood and the drywall in this situation. It's going to make for an excellent bond and it won't go anywhere once it sets up. It may be necessary to secure the backsplash against the wall until the adhesive has time to set up. To do this, use scrap pieces of wood to push against the backsplash and secure the front of the piece to the cabinet using a clamp. And since it's going to take some time for it to set up, we're going to reinstall the sink and reconnect all the fittings to it. To secure the sink, you can use either silicone caulking or you can use the same construction adhesive that we're using right now for the backsplash. Once the backsplash has had time to set up, repeat the process for the side splash. Painter's caulking should be applied to fill in along painted surfaces while silicone caulking should be used along the seams of the countertop, backsplash and sink. If you own property in the Kern County, California area and would like to be a part of our live audience, feel free to go to our channel and contact us by email.